Hi everybody and uh, welcome to week five of class. We are talking about chapter four in our textbook this week which is called customer behavior and I thought that this would be a good week to share a little bit more insight about where I work outside of ARC. Um, I sent an announcement around to all of you about an extra credit assignment and I kind of teased a little bit of information about where I work at Visit California but this is an interesting uh, organization when you are thinking about customer behavior because we serve a couple of different customer groups. So I'm actually going to start by uh, showing you guys a PowerPoint slide that uh, talks about something you'll recognize um, from the book, which is, um, here let me minimize this, sorry. Um, it talks about something from the book, which is this model of customer experience. So. I'm going to talk a little bit about Visit California for just a minute here because I think it's going to be interesting for all of you. Um, if you haven't looked up Visit California before, it might be something kind of cool to do. It's where I work during the day, during the week. Um, I'm the director of engagement there, so I actually sit on the B2B side of the house. You read about that in the book. Um, and we interestingly serve two different customer groups. So Visit California is a marketing organization and we are... Uh, designed to market California as a potential visitor destination to anyone uh, domestically, globally interested in travel. And so our mission is essentially to work on behalf of all the tourism businesses in California, market California as a destination to potential travelers. But you can see how there are two customer bases that we might serve in that mission. The first is um, our charge with marketing to visitors, meaning potential travelers or potential visitors are our customer. And then secondarily, we are working on behalf of other tourism businesses in California. So that's kind of our second customer group. So group number one, customer group number one is this B2C market, potential visitors to California. Group number two, which is where I work, is B2B, which are the tourism businesses in California that give us marketing dollars to market on their behalf. So we've got two customer groups and it's kind of interesting in this chapter, chapter to talk a little bit about that. So I'm gonna start with B2C. So potential visitors to California. You've probably seen some destination marketing commercials before. Maybe Visit Michigan. Visit Michigan used to run a campaign in California pretty frequently. And, or maybe you've seen Visit California commercials. So um, we are uh, VisitCalifornia.com is kind of our main homepage. It's the source where we keep all information about travel to California, including travel alerts like road closures, COVID-19 restrictions, etc. But I'm going to show you an old commercial. I'm uh, showing you something that's a little bit outdated, but I think maybe it will help you to recognize what we do at Visit California and uh, how we market the destination. So let's take a look. True. I don't know. They think we're all surfers. We're celebrities. That we're all into yoga. <laughs> and that everyone owns a winery. Or a skateboard. <gasps> and that we all drive convertibles. Where do they get these ideas? Like how we all live in bikinis and act like rock stars. You want to know the truth about California? Get out here. We'll show you how we roll. <laughs> Start your trip at visitcalifornia.com. So that gives you a little insight into um, our television commercial. That's an old commercial, it's like from 2010 or 11, but um, we market California, right? We hope to inspire you to decide to come to California when you're thinking about going on vacation somewhere. Um, we used to have international offices and we would do that same work globally in 13 different international offices. Obviously, all of you know that travel has been um, paused, essentially, uh, during COVID-19. So a lot of that work has stopped and really we are focused domestically. But interesting to think about that that is Visit California's customer base number one, potential visitors to California. We are uh, hyper-focused on convincing a um, mother with three children and a husband to decide that San Diego is absolutely the place she wants to come for vacation. Or the group of girls going on a road trip, uh, we hope to convince them that Highway 1 is the place that they should visit. And uh, we highlight all the experiences along the way, where to stay, where to eat, all the exciting kind of insider tips. We work with local destinations to ensure that we are 
promoting the things they want to be promoted. And that takes us to customer base number two, which is the tourism businesses in California. So interestingly, we've got these two, this two, uh, this duo, this dynamic between serving potential visitors and serving the tourism businesses that operate in California. So let's talk about some of the customer experiences from both of those categories, just so I can give you a little bit better idea of what we do at Visit California. So uh, if we're thinking about the B2C side, potential visitors to California, their need recognition might be something like, we've been cooped up for so long during COVID, I really wanna go on vacation, where can we go? That's their need recognition, right? I need a vacation. Uh, information start, search might start on Google, might start on TripAdvisor, um, might be among friends and family, as you read about in the book. Um, evaluation of alternatives, same thing. You're kind of weighing pros and cons. Uh, would Vegas be a better destination than San Diego? Or I've got a family or I've got dogs and I'm really interested in going somewhere where they can be too. And Vegas isn't quite as appropriate for that as maybe a San Diego where I've got space and beaches and parks that I might explore with my dogs, let's say. Uh, so I make a decision. I go to TripAdvisor. I book my flight. I book my hotel. I make reservations for dinner. I ensure that it's a dog-friendly location in all uh, aspects. And so I'm ready to go to San Diego. Uh, I go. I come back. And now we're in post-purchase evaluation and behavior. And I'm really happy that I went to San Diego. My dogs and I had a great time. And it was the best vacation ever. Right? So there's uh, customer group number one for Visit California. Customer group number two is on the B2B side. So let's talk about that a little bit. So let's say I own, um, I don't know, I own a restaurant. Uh, let's say I own Frank Fats in downtown. Um, and I recognize that I have a very limited marketing budget and I need some additional support to market my business. So I start searching. I research the Chamber of Commerce. I research the restaurant association that helps restaurants. And then I stumble on Visit California and I have heard of them before. I talk to some friends, so I evaluate my alternatives. I ask some other restaurant owners uh, what associations or organizations they belong to and which of those provide the greatest value. And then I decide, you know what, Visit California is really um, showing a lot of value to me. I see that they have a lot of educational opportunities, a lot of networking opportunities, and really they drive home the idea that they're gonna send additional customers in my restaurant. So I decide on Visit California. Uh, as I continue to make payments to visit California, I continue to evaluate that decision. So I will decide this year versus last year if they are continuing to show me enough value as an investor in their organization. So those are the two kind of groups I thought it was interesting to use Visit California as an example because we've got both. We've got both examples, B2C and B2B. So let me show you on the B2B side of the house. We actually have a separate website specifically for our B2B customers. So here's um, industry.visitcalifornia.com. You remember that visitcalifornia.com is designed entirely for consumers or potential visitors to California to California, our customer group number one. Customer group number two for us at Visit California is the B2B audience. And we have a separate website, a separate existence essentially to serve that customer. And those customers are investors. They're businesses operating in California, like a Disneyland, a Universal Studios, a Frank Fats, a Visit Sacramento. All of those businesses are customers of ours in that secondary B2B side of the house at Visit California. So. This website, industry.visitcalifornia.com, is all designed to serve the B2B audience, that group that has decided as a business owner to invest in our um, marketing firm called visitcalifornia.com. They've decided to invest and now they're here and they want to know what we are doing for them. So this is the website designed for our investor group. And this is actually where I work at Visit California. So. One of the things that we do for our investors, um, aside from marketing to potential visitors, that's our main mission, right? They belong to Visit California because we will bring visitors to their business, more visitors to their business. But another thing that we do is provide educational opportunities. So we help them learn best practices in the industry. Uh, learn from their peers and their colleagues. We bring in expert speakers and hopefully share insights with business owners in California, help them to operate and run their business better. 
And that is where this Outlook Forum Conference comes in. So if you have not, take a look at our announcements page. I actually posted an extra credit assignment. Um, and the opportunity is to attend this conference. So the conference is for that B2B audience, actually. It's designed to help inform the owner of Frank Fats, the chief marketing officer at Visit Sacramento, the general manager of the Marriott Hotel across from your apartment or your house, all of the tourism businesses in California, we invite their leaders, their industry leaders, to come and participate in this conference. So I'm going to talk about the conference just a bit because I, I want to spend a minute on here explaining your extra credit and tying it back to what we have learned so far in class and what we'll continue to learn. So this is um, an Outlook Forum conference. It's just the name of our educational conference that we hold every year at Visit California. Typically, this conference is in person. We travel across the state. We have 800 or so in-person attendees. But this year, because of COVID-19 and limitations on group gatherings, we've decided to, for the first time ever, host the conference online. So we have this conference taking place this week, um, depending on when you watch this video. It's happening uh, Thursday, February 18th and Friday, February 19th in the mornings. Um, and it's all about how to market your business better. And so I think many of you told me that you're already working in marketing, that you're uh, thinking about or interested in opening your own business and needing skill sets to market your own business this conference will help you gather insights into that. And I really recommend that you go for whether whether you write the assignment, the paper for extra credit or not. If you're interested in marketing at all, this conference is usually six or seven hundred dollars limited to 800 people, the first 800 that sign up. So it's a really good conference. Um, we're a reputable organization. It will be travel focused. But if you pay close attention, it will resonate and, and apply to any type of business. So you'll hear us use a lot of travel lingo. We'll be talking about airlines and hotels, restaurants, travel restrictions, attractions. So they're very, it's going to be very travel focused, but pay close attention because all of the practices that we talk about, the strategies we suggest and tactics we suggest that you implement can apply to any business. We just happen to be talking about travel. So uh, if you haven't yet, come to outlookforum.com. I'll post that uh, with the video so you can take a look at this website. Here we are, it's hosted by Visit California, but this is the conference webpage. So when you're here, if you scroll down a bit, it'll tell you about Outlook Forum. These are photos from in-person events that we've had in the past. Uh, that's Carolyn Batetta, she's our CEO of Visit California. Um, you'll see the four different tracks here. So there are different tracks happening throughout the two-day conference. So if you're really interested in innovating, there are courses throughout both days all around innovation. So you can kind of stay in one track, but you don't have to stay in one track. You can bounce around to different tracks over the course of the two days. So here's the schedule for Thursday, February 18th. There's two kind of general session um sessions happening. Uh, first timers orientation, that's the session that I am teaching at the conference, uh, followed by a session about what's ahead for California tourism. That's our president and CEO, Carolyn Batetta. She'll be leading that. And then you get a decision um, to decide on which of these classes next from 11 to 11.45, which class sounds the most interesting to you. So dream with us how to create effective web stories. That means everything from your website to your social channels. How do you do that? How do you engage with your customers? How do you make a meaningful connection through storytelling over the web? And as you can imagine, even though it's going to sound a lot like travel specific, it can resonate and can mean a lot for you no matter what your business is. Real estate, restaurant ownership, owning a gym, it really wouldn't matter. Just take those principles and think about how could I apply that to things I want to do with my career. Uh, the next option for the 11 to 11.45 time slot is rewire to rebuild your relationships. Uh, the next one is what's next in accommodations. That's a session that I'm helping to manage. Uh, and we're hearing from an executive from Marriott Hotels talking about 
what to expect in hotels in California. And then an owner of several hotels, her name's Seema Patel. She owns six hotels in the Bay Area and she'll be talking about what she expects for hotels. So if you're interested in owning or operating your own business, she'll be someone really interesting to hear from. She talks about her experience buying and selling hotels, what that looks like now during COVID and how we move forward. So a really interesting session. Then from 12 to 12.45, you've got three other options on Thursday. This is all on Thursday. Uh, let me make this a little, ooh, let me make this a little bit bigger. Okay. Um, option number one in that time slot is wildfire season prevention, preparation, and communication. So this is kind of a crisis response um, session, we're calling it. How do you respond to a crisis at your business? So if that's interesting to you in any way, attend that session. Maybe you don't have a fire at your business. <laughs> Maybe wildfires haven't damaged your business, but if there's any note inside of you that kind of peaks up when you hear um, crisis prevention or crisis management, uh, that's the session for you. It'll be a really good session. We've got some expert speakers there um, talking about wildfire prevention and how to communicate to customers during a crisis, but that can resonate beyond just a wildfire and you'll really hear a lot of good insights in there. Harness the power of online reviews. Think about how valuable that can be, especially many of you are interested in the real estate field. Um, harnessing the power of online reviews is essential to any business, really, any small business especially. And in the re relationship building world of real estate, what could possibly be more important than maybe in-person interactions is harnessing the power of how people feel about you and what they say about you online. So a really cool session, that one might be interesting for you to attend. And then what's next in airlines? I'm helping to manage this blue track, so I happen to know a little bit more about that. Um, we've got executives from American Airlines and United Airlines coming to speak with us about what we can expect for travel and where the airline business is headed in 2021 and beyond. Um, okay, so let's come into Friday. I'm just walking you through some of the schedules. You hopefully are interested and want to attend. Um, the first sessions start at 10 a.m. on Friday, this Friday, February 19th. The first is how 2020 made the case for sustainable tourism. This is about sustainability. If there's anything inside of you that's interested in all, at all in sustainability and maybe opening or operating or working for a sustainable focused business, this is a cool session. It's talking about how despite what happened in COVID-19, there are so many businesses that are operating in a sustainable way and, and remain hyper-focused on being sustainable. A cool session for you, if that's interesting. Uh, second choice at 10 o'clock is Lessons from California's Competition. Uh, we are hearing from some folks in South America, someone in New York, and I think someone in Wyoming, which is where I'm from, uh, talking about how they are marketing their own destinations. So a real another deep dive into marketing and those two sets of customer groups, serving the travelers, serving the businesses that invest in your travel organization. And then I am managing what's next in attractions. And if you are a Disney fan, Universal Studios Hollywood fan, you may wanna to come to this session. They, uh, we've got the president and CEO of Disneyland, um, Ken Potrock, and his counterpart at Universal Studios Hollywood, her name's Karen Irwin. They are together talking to our president and CEO, uh, Carolyn Batetta, about their attractions, their parks, and uh, the components that are open, what they expect will open, some new things that are happening with ticketing and membership, uh, new rides that they are opening. So just a cool look into what's ahead in the attraction space in California all again with a marketing twist. Who are they focused on at their attraction? Who will their customer base be once they're able to open? How is that different than what their customer base was before COVID? So a really interesting session if you're at all a fan of Disney or Universal, a cool, interesting deep dive and a, a unique opportunity to hear their presidents and CEOs. So that'll be fun. Uh, at 11 o'clock, you've got, oh, I'm sorry, uh, here's here's your last option um, at 10 a.m. It's a, another 
track called Rebuild, Roadmap to International Recovery. International visitors are so important to California as a destination. Um, we have a session talking about when we can expect international visitors to return to California. If travel is anything interesting to you, if you yourself are an international traveler, this might be something really cool to listen in on. We're talking about visas, we're talking about our neighboring countries, Mexico and Canada, UK, Australia, and when we can expect to be able to travel there comfortably and frequently and vice versa. So kind of the impacts of COVID on international travel in California. Okay, now let's talk about the 11 o'clock time slot. Uh, first up is balancing visitors and residents in a post-COVID world. There, again, is kind of this interesting dynamic of serving two customers. Uh, many destinations have to serve the residents they that live in the community, right? If you are visit Lake Tahoe, and you are marketing Lake Tahoe to visitors and visitors end up coming. And then the residents who live there hate the visitors that are coming. You can see how you've got two different customer bases to serve, the local community and the potential visitor. And finding that balance, striking that balance is something that we're going to talk about in this session. And it's a real actual uh, challenge at the moment um, in, in Lake Tahoe, in Mammoth, in parts of uh, the Central Coast, where the number of visitors is getting problematic uh, to residents. And so how do you balance customer needs when you have two customer groups and their needs conflict? And that's an interesting and kind of deep dive into that conversation. So if you're at all interested in that, a really good session to attend at 11. Uh, the next session in the purple track, give voice to communities through culinary storytelling. Again, another kind of interesting deep dive into how to tell your brand story, how to tell your own personal story online and how to incorporate other diverse opinions and um, perspectives when you are telling that story. Sounds kind of fluffy, but it's actually very much a part of marketing these days is telling your story succinctly and interestingly online. And you will have to do that as a realtor. You will have to do that as a business owner. So um, sounds a little bit odd maybe in the title and the description, but I think a really good online focus for anyone interested in marketing themselves or their business. And then we're at the blue track. That's my track again. What's next in transportation? We have an executive from Avis Budget Group, our largest rental car company in California, talking about uh, road trips alongside uh, his peer and friend in the industry. Her name is Lisa Allen, and she owns Amador Stage Lines. Maybe you guys have heard of them. They're based here in the local area. In Sacramento area and they are a bus company so it's an interesting talk about how transportation is changing in this tourism environment because of COVID. The last one at 11 this is your last option for the 11 o'clock time slot what's ahead for the U.S. economy uh, maybe sounds boring to all of you it's probably the most important session for our business attendees they are really hyper focused on what is ahead for the economy and especially for the tourism economy when will things begin to open more broadly what can we expect in terms of visitation and therefore um, you know, customers and visitors for all of our businesses. So um, a really interesting deep dive into what we expect in terms of the U.S. economy over the next year, six to 12 months, essentially. And then last but not least, our very last session on Friday, 12 to 12.45, starts with the option of Stronger Together, a Visit California co-op workshop. Um, Visit California offers co-ops, um, cooperative opportunities, for our business partners to buy in to larger marketing promotions that we're doing at Visit California. This will tell you some really interesting uh, tactics in terms of how to market your business, how to rely on others, including partnerships outside of your own organization, how you can leverage what other people are doing to really extend your own marketing efforts. So kind of a cool partnerships um, session, if that's interesting at all to you. Uh, the Purple Track 2021 Trends in Destination Storytelling. Uh, that means trends like how to tell your story succinctly and interestingly on Instagram versus TikTok. What does that mean for you? Is it worthwhile? Will you get customers from doing this type of thing? And, and if so, how do you do it better? So again, Purple is really focused on storytelling, which is essential for anyone interested in owning or marketing a business 
and with a focus online because that's really where we interact the most these days. Uh, and then my track, the blue track, what's next in restaurants? Uh, we are, in fact, um, interviewing the COO of Fat Family Restaurant Group. His name's Kevin Fat. He's actually a board member at Visit California. If you love Frank Fats, here's a good session to attend. He's talking about what they have done in the pandemic, how they are surviving, uh, staffing, hiring, marketing, all kinds of business operations discussion. He is speaking alongside Dan Gordon, who's founder, president of Gordon Biersch. Maybe you know the garlic fries, or maybe you know his beer. Um, he's another Visit California board member and a real leader in this industry. His, uh, many of his restaurants have closed, are still closed since March of last year. And so we'll get to hear a, a tough conversation with him and Kevin Fat, uh, Dan Gordon and Kevin Fat, about how do you survive? If you're a restaurant owner these days, how do you even survive in all of this? So uh, several of you um, mentioned wanting to own a business or interested in cooking and baking, uh, maybe owning a food truck. One of you mentioned maybe you'd own a food truck one day. This is a cool session to attend for you. It's really the honest reality of the struggle of what it feels like to own and market a restaurant today. Uh, and hopefully it won't be the same struggle a year from now or even six months from now, but it is a struggle today. As you know, right? We can't go out and eat at very many places right now. And if we are, we're outside and that's quite a different dynamic than what we are used to. And that translates into less revenue for a restaurant owner. So a, a hard conversation, but a valuable one when it comes to how to leverage uh, marketing efforts in really difficult times. That's what's next in the restaurants. And then the last one is the new consumer navigating emerging spending trends. A very cool session. I think we have a speaker from MasterCard coming in that session. And she talks about how people are spending their money. She's got data and statistics on exactly where people shop, how they shop in, in person, online, what types of products are of greatest interest today to consumers. And so just a cool look at customers. Speaking of customer behavior, this is like the customer behavior session. So um, all of these, again, are free. Uh, if you can't attend this Thursday, Thursday and Friday, know that these sessions are available after the conference, but you have to sign up for the email. So, or sorry, you have to register for the conference. So make sure you come to outlookforum.com. That's the site we've been poking around on. Click this register button up in the corner. A secondary window will pop up and it will ask for your email address. Use your ARC email address, please, so that I know that it's you. Put your first and last name. Uh, fill the rest of this out, hit continue, and it'll send you an email notifying you that you've been registered for the conference. So even if you can't attend on Thursday and Friday, please register so that you have a chance to watch these sessions afterward. I think even if you don't do the extra credit, uh, it would be wise to listen into these sessions. It's a cool topic. It's all about California businesses, many Sacramento businesses, and many small businesses. Uh, so really right in line with what a lot of you are interested in doing eventually with your careers and your lives. So I hope um, I'm pointing this out, not selfishly. I mean, I won't benefit from you going to the conference, but I hope you will get some benefit. I hope there's value for you in your own life, in your own career, and hopefully in this class. So if you have any questions about the chapter, um, remember to take the quiz, but I'm here to help. I've got office hours every Thursday from four to five. Not many of you have come in. So if you ever have a question or just want to chat, questions about your career. If you need a reference somewhere, let me know. I'm happy to help you. Um, it's part of why I really enjoy interacting with all of you. So uh, Amber Rich, thank you for tuning in and I will talk to you all in a couple weeks. All right. Bye-bye.